Uh, this is the Biomuseo, which is the Museum of Biodiversity. It's a new museum of uh, science museum that we're building in the Amador Peninsula in Panama City. It's probably one of the best lots in, in the city. It's on the mouth of the canal. It overlooks the Bay of Panama. So every ship that goes in and out of the canal passes by it. Every, like, most of the planes, as they approach Tucumán Airport, actually make their approach either right above it or right next to it. It's a Frank Gehry design, which on top of being on a very visible position, it's a very loud and visible building, very appropriate for Panama's loud, visible culture, I'd say. Of course, it was a very conceptual design that eventually a, a group of Panamanian businessmen uh, got together to try and convince the government to get behind the project. The way the work began was through a series of workshops where scientists and designers and the owners uh, got together and brainstormed and started thinking of how those ideas or those concepts could be made physical in a way that was very impressive and easy to understand through elements that they call devices of wonder, which are very large scale or very complicated or colorful or attractive elements, which are uh, artistic representations of scientific concepts. The story that the, the Biomuseo tells in its eight galleries is how Panama changed the world, how the Isthmus of Panama, when it rose from the ocean and connected North and South America, created or originated changes in the whole planet that helped create the world as we know it today. Panama has been growing really fast lately. There's a construction boom happening and it's been going on for last easily 10 years. It's definitely changing the way the city works, the way the city looks and the way the city sees itself. I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried that there's a lack of orientation. I'm sure that there is a lack of orientation. I mean, the way Panama City grows is that it's developer driven and projects are done in general, just looking at the project itself without much interest in what happens around it. I mean, infrastructure has not grown at all or definitely not as fast as construction has grown. And the main reason to put a museum like this in a place like Panama is that this is uh, a key example of how something as small as this can have really large changes. It's about connections, connections made, connections broken, and then the consequences of those.